and this is a dangerous team because of their depth, their length, their style. They are no fun to play against. And yes, Carolina beat Florida State in both of the regular season matchups. What a magnificent year for R.J. Davis. Better than 21 a game. Off the glass, he banks it home. Harrison Ingram, the transfer from Stanford. What a great year he has had for the Heels. Davis always in motion. Finds an open Ingram, and he buries it. And now we're having a, an issue with one of the baskets. Something is hanging by a thread, literally. Great stuff, Jess. Thank you. 5-2 Carolina early. Dan Schulman, Jay Billis, Jess Sims. And Baba Miller ties it with a corner three. He's got all five early for Florida State. Baycott knocks it away. Corrin gets it back. You saw Carolina playing off Warley. He is not a three-point shooter. But he can get to the rim, and he can follow his own miss. Tied up at nine. Knocked away from behind. Corin tipped it away. Worley out ahead of the pack, and he lays it in as Florida State takes the lead. Corin switches out onto Davis. Davis can't get rid of him, trying to get by him. And wow. you know what? You tip your cap to Davis on that one if you're the Seminoles. Yeah, talk about great offense being just a little bit better than outstanding defense. But they made him work for that. A quiet start for Jameer Watkins, who was anything but quiet yesterday against Virginia Tech. A Florida State ACC tournament record, 34 points. 14 of 17 from the line. Not a good shot. Air ball by Miller. Watkins puts it home. Boy, Corrin just reached around Armando Baycott to knock that away. Baycott had great position. And Florida State turned nothing into something because of it. Baycott baseline for the jam. Yeah, that's the kind of strength that Carolina has to play with against this Florida State team because the Seminoles are attacking. He's been playing really well of late. I thought he was really good in that game against Duke. I think he had eight rebounds in that one. Watkins kicks to a wide open Taylor Bull Bowen. Midway through the first half, Florida State, the nine seed with a one point lead. The Doge. Washington lays it in. Spears. He got caught in the air and he turned it over. Great defense by Cormac Ryan. Cadeau flying down the court and laying it in. How about that in-air adjustment made by Elliot Cadeau? And give credit to Cormac Ryan. He was weaking that up at the top, meaning forcing the ball handler to his weak hand, and that was a big part of it. Spears, who can be instant offense off the bench for the Seminoles with a mid-range jumper. Great job by Cormac Ryan to send the ball to the left. Primo Spears made to go to his left. And what an adjustment. Identified that earlier than anybody. He was really the first to use what they call analytics now, points per possession. Spears gets free on the baseline. That's one of his spots. Now he's driving. Tip back up and in by Ingram. And that's a vulnerability. They won it. Not only can they cut down the nets and, and win a championship here this week. Also have a chance at a one seed, you would think, if they were to win this. Now watch this. This is an up and under move, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. How do, you get to, how do you get that to go? If it was that much of a rule, they should write it down. Exactly. Tough turnaround, and it will go for Deontay Green. Well, he had 12 points against North Carolina the last game they played. And that's a tough one. Yeah. Armando Baycott was on the all-defensive team in the ACC. I, I'm still shocked he wasn't first-team all-league. Good pass fake. Tapped back out, and Ingram's got it again. Ryan is open on the wing and knocks it down. Davis sticking right with Darren Green, Jr. Good decisions. Tipped away by Davis, and he is in all alone on Florida State and they're doing it on the defensive end. It has been five playing as one for the baby blue. The bus coming into the building was the only time that Blake Henson isn't in range for a three. <laughs> 106 threes I believe it is this year leading the ACC. Cadeau's back into the game for Carolina. Wow. Davis pulls up from three and he's into double figures now with 11 is looking to attack. 
And how do you guard this? You're trying to stop the drive. Now Ingram's got it. Boy, they are dominating on the offensive glass. Baycott has it. And finally it pays off. ACC tournament. And a three goes down for Darren Green Jr. And Florida State's gotten back within a dozen. Just shot behind that little handoff action, and R.J. Davis got held up. But you're not gonna, you're not gonna completely shut off Darren Green Jr. How about that face? Cormac Ryan. But Watkins is one guy that cannot afford to lose. Good pass. Godot in the corner misses the three and nobody boxes out on the weak side and Ryan says thank you very much. Well but you know if Watkins had gone after the ball that'd be one thing but he didn't do yeah. either. Godot coast to coast and lays it in with the left. Boy is he playing with a lot of confidence at this point of the season. He's an attack guard and he's doing all this without really shooting the ball from the perimeter. It's even more impressive that look at him fight against Miller inside. He's getting around fronting sitting on his legs. Now switches off Ryan takes him. Green from 17. How quick is that trigger. My goodness. Ryan shoes Cadeau away wants a two man game with a Baycott it looks like now off to Davis. Nobody puts Cadeau in the corner. <laughs> Deep one. Davis short long rebound to Ingram Ryan and it's all Carolina right now. Yeah, you credit Carolina for that rebound but you have to ask yourself right now where's the want to for Florida State. Yeah. Which is not something you ask about a Florida State or a Leonard Hamilton team very no. often. And I think Leonard's going to be asking that question in film session. To go to Davis. Count it. In three, and then RJ Davis just drop it behind, and he'll drop it in. Will not make the NCAA tournament, and whoever wins will be in good shape, but he's not willing to commit to them getting it. However you want to slice it, it's a doozy. It's an important game. Yeah. And they're two good teams, two fun teams that can beat just about anybody when they play their best. Pitt won at Duke this year. Wake beat Duke this year. I mean, they're both very good teams. The rebounding advantage for North Carolina in this game is stunning. It's 29 to 8. Yeah. Davis with a floater. The rotation is clear. They've got the five starters and then Trimble, Withers, Washington come off the bench. They don't lose much. There's not much drop off there. Look at this feed. Another great cut. And there's Trimble to Withers. Bench player to bench player. Like everybody is contributing right now for this Carolina team. And it seems like every player embraces his role without complaint. And that sounds like it should be a given, but it's not. You know, Trimble comes into the game and he just gets down in the stance and defends. And if a shot's there, he'll take it. Side of the basket to shield off the block shot. That's not an up and under, you know. Copy that. <laughs> the first three games of the season for the Tar Heels. Spears gets where he wants to get and knocks down another one. He's really been the only offense for Florida State. March, they were the regular season champs, but. I mean what he has done for the program and for the sport on and off the court should never be forgotten. Just a, an amazing person and an amazing basketball coach. One of the all time greats not only in this league but period. Kept alive Seminoles first to the floor again. Spears and Ganey puts it home. Carolina looking to move on to the semis up by 22. Davis got it back and hits it. Why not? Unbelievable. That is a huge game for both programs who both appear to be sitting on the bubble right now. Trimble the floater. Oh, he's had a good game too. Jalen Withers, 4-3. You know, Withers hit over 40 threes last year for, for Louisville. He was more of a lead dog on that team, but he looks more and more comfortable as we get toward the, the very end of the season. Tipped around Washington gathers it in again. 
Watkins comes up with the steal. And Worley will lay it in for the Seminoles. Timeout Leonard Hamilton with 3.29 to go. When Carolina set a season high for fast break points uh, in this ball game. Almost had a couple more right there. The reverse for Zayden High. Everybody's getting in on the fun. When you feel for Florida State, they're... This has not been the Seminoles day, but you just have to credit the amazing effort that North Carolina's put forth today. They will take on the winner of our next Wake and Pitt. In the first semifinal tomorrow evening, bottom half of the draw, two more quarterfinals coming your way, including Duke and Virginia, each making their first appearance of the tournament. Seth Trimble's having a heck of an afternoon. Started it out with defense. I really think early on did a great job on Jameer Watkins. Tough jumper that will go for Josh Nickelberry who's just coming in the last couple of minutes. In the mid to late 80s. I actually hosted him on his visit to That's right. Zayden High again. That was a big reason Obviously, he went to North Carolina. You, you, you had quite an impression. Obviously you showed him a great time that weekend. <laughs> Tom House into the game for Florida State. Spears is still in there and still knocking down shots. Well, they saw a workmanlike effort where Carolina was tough and together from the opening tap. 92-67, they win it going away.